Shallowarm, shallow arm, shallow arm, <sighs> Nice fresh night tonight. So we're gonna give all praises to Yahweh, our Shem, your Shai, our Shem, Raka, the Dash, giving double honors to all the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone and the house of David is rising. Rising. <laughs> Judgments is in the earth. Yeah. Just check that behind me there. Just check that bright light behind me there. It ain't the moon and it ain't no plane. It's not a bird, it's not a helicopter, it's a chariot. So yeah. They're up there tonight. W which they're always up there, but they they're visible. On the, on my way here I saw a couple and then you got this stationary one here behind me. Making itself plain. And it lights up and it and it does what it does man. It lights up when it feels to light up. It moves on its own time, on its own timetable. It does what it does. So we're gonna take this as a little picture. This is gonna be the picture or the thumbnail of my video. We see the, see the chariot behind me right there. Yo Ratazar, if you want to show up. Right above the streets and houses right there. I think I'm in the way. There we go. Yeah, so um, judgments is in the earth, man. And there's some things that we've been seeing on social media, in, in news, more chariots revealing himself and this is just one of many people are getting burned up houses are blowing up gas fires house fires houses are what they call spontaneous spontaneous um, combustion spontaneous combustion is taking place which there was a case of that that happened I think it was back in the 2016 over there in Italy in a small village in Italy or was it Spain but um houses were being just spontaneous combusting the electric the electrics was catching on fire and then when they done more a closer expect ex investigation they realized it wasn't just they took out all the electrics and all the things that supposedly was catching on fire and then and then it was beds mattresses catching on fire so it wasn't just the electrics it was anything was fair game and I, I remember doing a video on it very 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 early on my other channel what I had the real Maracab the first one they, they were saying things were spontaneously combusting and when they done that area in a small village in Italy when they done a small, a more um, thorough ex examination of the place, it was known for having a high, high level of what they call UFOs or UAPs. They was doing it, so they realised that it was it was um, it was infested with. Um, they was causing it. So these are, these chariots, man. They're not just um. They are interactive. Don't get it twisted. When they want to intervene, there's been I've been watching a couple of these um. Uh, classified videos or documentaries on the chariots when they want to intervene like take the pilots out if you try and attack them they can take you out and there's been pilots that have been taken out yeah what they call um the, the Bermuda Triangle <laughs> gone missing and they've never been seen again due to the Bermuda Triangle where you can't if you enter you will not get out alive what do you think that is? That's that's chariots too. Or oh, an uh, aerial phenomenon, unidentified aerial phenomenon, or paranormal, what they call paranormal. The most side controls the left hand side and the right hand side. So they, they interact with us. They do interact without a shadow of a doubt. And more so with the with the children with Yashua Allah with us on the right hand side. But yeah, it's interesting. I didn't have any intention to go and talk about chariots on this video, but yeah, man. It's very beautiful how they interact with us and they come to our aids. And is it Job chapters, chapters 33, 30, 33? I haven't looked at it for a little while where it talks about dreams, 
had most I come to you through vision of the night giving you dreams and visions my recent video I just put up earlier on you know they say you're only as good as your last video this is this is the um, the, the video I did earlier on visions and dreams how I was uh, the, when they come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them and I was that happened there was a Jacob's trouble intervention and the spirit of the Lord brought in <laughs> like I said I went in on the on the video earlier on today the the spirit entered into bat and bats came in and flocked the place grinded out the place <laughs> and just overpowered the place and just covered me over with the spirit of the Lord using his bats so this movie like I told the video this movie will get very dramatic it seems to be going slow when really it's not going slow it's just a it's just building up to the climax this movie is building up to a very very dramatic climax when the spirit of the Lord when the enemy come in the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against them so yeah we're just admiring this this chariot be right behind me and it is a chariot I'm just admiring it <laughs> We're going to bring out some precepts while the views are nice while we have this <sighs> and it smells nice out here funny enough it does smell nice out here we had some rain earlier on in the week which is why I kind of delayed my my after hours videos I usually do my little late night after hours walk and talk after my jog and my press ups and all my endurance training I like to do them around this time when it's silent, when there's no one around where I can, it's just me, myself and your whole shy going in and I'm, and I'm meditating. While I'm training, I'm always meditating. When I'm jogging, I'm meditating on precepts, I'm meditating on prayers, I'm meditating on Hebrew, I'm saying Lashwan Kodash, the Lord's Prayer in my mind, I'm thinking on the name, yeah, because everything is done to the glory and praise to the Lord and through him through him yeah through him we are healed through Yahusha we are healed Isaiah 53 Isaiah 53 and verse 6 and verse 5 and verse 6 through Yahusha we are healed so all glory goes to Yahweh Shem if I'm able to jog around the park late night going up hills and down hills <laughs> With despite the kind of weather it is, it's the most I give me the strength to do that and the spirit to be able to do that. So, yeah, through him, man, give all glory and praise to him. And the water to you, Abba Shem Shavi, give me the strength to be able to do that. And get back on and like I say, you're only as good as your last video. Yeah, as, as what the apostles say, we're only as good as our last video. So I want to try and do, do my videos, keep up with my videos and go a little bit more so if if the spirits on me to do that yeah after exerting exerting um piece of exercise let's bring out some precepts man so this is just going to be the icing on the cake before i turn it in tonight i was I, I, i'm making up for the time i wasn't being able to get out here earlier in the week Lord willing, because I wanted to get out earlier in the week, but we had that torrential rains, those um heavy rains, which was good still because it cooled a lot of things down, man. It cooled a lot, a lot of things down. The weather, the heat, the humid has got more. It's got more cooler in the background. Ah, the breathing's nice. It smells nice. It's got a nice fresh smell. So let's hit these precepts, yeah. Some exhortation precepts and then we're going to keep it moving. 1 Corinthians 16 and 13 says, Watch ye stand fast in the faith. Quit ye like men. Be strong. Ah, all praises to you about Shimmer Shai. We can do that. Yeah. Stand fast. Yeah. In the faith. Quit ye like men and be strong, man. Yeah. And to what are two about Shimmer Shai? You're giving us an auction from the Holy One, man. Um, 1 John chapters. 2 I think it is first John chapter 2 and verse 20 as a matter of fact let's get that I want to I don't want to butcher it I want to see if I, I haven't read it for a little while first John chapters 2 
and verse 20. Yeah. But, but ye have an auction from the Holy One and ye know all things. Right. As I say, this is the year of turn up. And what you want to know is at the end of your fingertips. The, the, the era of information. So you can know things. What you don't know, you go, you just check up. Go to the, go to the, um, is another precept now I'm going to get now. This leads me to another precept. Psalms. Rather than butcher it, let me go straight to it and let the precept speak for me. Psalms chapters. I think it's chapters 50. Oh, go, go back. Psalms chapters. Like I say, we we're making up for the earlier on in the week. I wasn't able to get out. It was coming down a bit. The rain was coming down, which I wanted to get out. But um, all praises, I'm able to get out now. The weather's more convenient. I could, I could come out in the rain and into the torrential, but you know, got got to be balanced at times as well. You know. Now is about that time. Psalm 51. Yeah, this is the one I wanted. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's Psalms 50. Like I say, we've got to get the dust off some of these precepts. Psalm 50. Psalm 50 and verse 19. Yeah. For thou givest the mouth the evil and the is it hold on uh hold on no 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 it might be it might not be it might be psalms <laughs> it's all right you're gonna get there lord willing psalms 19 there you go so this is how you refresh your memory psalms 19 and forces the line is gone out through all the earth and the words to the end of the world in them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun yeah so we got the line now the euro forum as it otherwise described as where you can just go on tap in at the, at the end of your fingertips get the information you need do the research you need you know we've got the tools that we need that through the power and spirit of the the, the holy spirit given to the elders the, the apostles and down and, and on down to the brothers so we have the Euro Forum, we have through that, through the Holy Spirit, right, you grow. So we have an auction from the Holy One via, via, but ye have an auction from the Holy One, 1 John chapters 2 and 20, and ye know all things, the year of information. And what that's, so that's one of the A's we have, in which we can stand fast in the faith, quick ye like men, and be strong and continue to grow through the precepts yeah through thy precepts we gain understanding through the holy spirit of your bashim your shire here's another one from our beautiful beloved um apostle paul talking to the young uh the younger apostle timothy yeah the younger man timothy Right, and it says here, Second Timothy chapters four and seven says, "I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous Judge, shall give me at the day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love His appearing." Yeah. So we think about that. We meditate on that, just like if you do any kind of sports, whether it be tiring exhausting you don't think about just the pain you think about the end results you think about the finishing and enduring to the end and if you don't enjoy to the end you ain't gonna get the crown in this case henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day right if you finish if you endure and not to me only but to all them also that love his appearing and all those that also finish that race 
So we want to finish that race. We want to. We have the blueprints, as I like to bring out. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is the blueprint in Hebrews chapter 12. How he's at, at the right hand now of Yahweh, waiting for his enemies to be placed at his footstool. And that's also in um, Psalms 110 and 1. Waiting for his enemies to be placed at his footstool. He's now ruling alongside Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. Right, here's another example. Blueprint that was given to the young man Timothy. So in First Timothy chapter four, it says, as Timothy, as Apostle Paul was telling Timothy, younger man Timothy, First Timothy chapter four and verse twelve says, "Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conveying situations, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity, till I give." Till I come, give attendance to the reading, exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gifts that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the prosperity. Meditate upon these things, upon meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them that thy prophet may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself, unto the doctrine. In them by doing this, thou shalt thou save thyself and them that heed thee. Right, meditating upon these things, taking close attention to them, being thorough in our reading, in our and not neglecting the gifts of the spirit, as it says there, not neglecting that is in the that which was given thee by prophecy, not neglecting prophecy which was given us. We see the prophecies unfolding every day no matter what way you cut it and slice it they are going to be fulfilled and they're fulfilling judgments is in the earth right which the laying on of the hands of the prosperity pre <laughs> prosperity <laughs> meditate upon these things give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine continuing them by for by in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that heed thee right giving our praises to you right and here's another point and that's this is very fitting in going up a couple of verses second timothy 4 and it says we can go to We can go straight to it in eight. It says, For bodily exercise profiteth little, but godliness in is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. Even our praise to you but that chariot's still there. Still in the back of me, right there. I'm gonna let you see it as as I'm reading. Because that's a beautiful view. And there's lights all over the place, man. You can see flashing lights left, right, and center. And you've got the main one right behind me there. So we're going to end with this precept. First, Second Timothy 4. Yeah, this is the theme of the video. I could make this the, 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 the title of the video. Second Timothy 4, because, yeah, we do that exercise. I like to do that. I like to exert myself. Because after any exhortation or any exhorting or endurance training there's a there's a um, the end result is always a, the benefit it's usually the end result right and when I finish I feel like I've I've got an aura of warmth and heat if you ever seen them that ready break advert <laughs> if you ever see that ready break advert right the porridge advert when the man the young man eats his porridge and there's an aura around him in the cold through the cold weather it just like gives you a warmth and there's an aura of heat going around circling around, circling around you almost like if you saw um if you ever seen black bolt one of the superheroes black bolt or even better still you got um you got um silver surfer there's an aura around him silver surfer black bolt and after my exercise my little 
endurance exercises there feels like there's an aura of you know you've put in some work so you always feel better after you've put in a little bit of, you've exerted yourself physically so let's bring out the precept just to end it off because it explains it better than I can 2 Timothy 4 and 8 says for godly exercise profitive so yeah profitive God, bodily exercise physical exhortation press ups exercise pull ups squats whatever you want to do however you do it however it suits you jogging uh, brisk walking whatever you like to do I like to do what I do I, I mix it up you know I mix up my thing and I like to do it when, when there's no when it's just me and I can focus myself I see the gold at the end of the tunnel and I'll just aim for that and reach that target right so you have a sense of achievement and the script as the scripture says there it's beneficial it's beneficial bodily exercise profitive but it does profit little but profit it does profit compared to compared to spiritual but godliness is profitable unto all things having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come so when you make the comparison they're both good but we want the everlasting yeah the promise of the life that is now and of that which is to come the everlasting eternal life through the carnal you get a benefit but through the spiritual you get an eternal crown spiritual crown because apostle paul he spoke about that crown we're going to end with this <laughs> if it's so nice you can't just read it once you've got to read it twice second timothy turn over the page now second timothy 4 7 i have fought a good fight i have finished my course i have kept the faith henceforth there is a there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness check out the chariot in the background <laughs> that's a beautiful sight right there crown of righteousness with which the lord of righteous judge the crown of righteousness <sighs> let it settle take your time second timothy 4 and 8 henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day and not to me only but to all but unto all them also that love his appearing the water to your shima shah give me the spirit to do this video right all praise it to your shah for giving us an auction from the holy one to know all things and we want to continue in that race so we can receive that eternal crown the crown of life until the next one akiam we out